megalithic perspective. I'm doing this quick video on a topic that you don't see much of. It's called the limestone enigma. The Giza pyramids are 98% limestone, five and a half million tons of it. That's the inner blocks and the outer Turer casing stones, all limestone. And it's all local stone chiseled out of the local quarries. Or is it? Is it possible that it was not chiseled from local quarries? Limestone is only three or four on the Mohs hardness scale, much softer than granite. And the understanding is that the limestone was quarried using bronze chisels and wedges and manpower. They would chisel in the width just enough to get a body into, and chisel on both sides, just keep tapping away, keep tapping away and remove. And then when they got down to the lowest part, they would put these wooden wedges into these holes and then they would soak the wedges and break the limestone away. The local quarries show the chisel marks and the wedge marks, but starting 2000 years ago, the casing stones on the pyramids were being repurposed and they have receded to where they are today, completely exposing the unfinished limestone blocks underneath the casing stones. You've seen these images. Do you see what isn't there? Beyond the missing casing stones, I mean, do you see what else isn't there? Simply, if you went to your company's summer cookout and they were serving up ice cream out of a huge 50-gallon tub, and a guy has a huge fork and he's carving out chunks, and then someone hands you your bowl of ice cream and it looks like this, well, something isn't right. You look back at the tub, and then you look back at your ice cream, and, well, what the hell? So look again at the local limestone quarry marks that you find at the limestone quarries all around Giza, and then look again at the blocks in the pyramid. Something isn't right. And don't go on and say that the ancient Egyptians chiseled off the chisel marks from the stones that were going to be buried underneath the rest of the pyramid. Why would they do that? The chisel and quarry marks should match between the quarries and the blocks that are in the pyramids, but they don't. Even with more recent quarrying techniques, you can look at a granite block used anywhere under a farmhouse or under the barn, and you can tell how it was quarried. The pyramids are filled with rough limestone blocks they should definitely have the same chisel marks that are found in the local limestone quarries, but they don't. And that is the limestone enigma. So the next questions are, if not from the nearby El Sawata quarry or Sultan Pasha quarry, where did all that limestone come from? And if not chiseled, how was it quarried? Well, that is a topic for another video very soon. I just wanted to create this quick video to get you thinking about the limestone enigma in the first place. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Please like and share and always keep an open mind.